Have you ever watched a space movie with a brand new sparkling society that looks like a utopia? Did you wish you were there? Well, you could be, and sooner than you think, at least if Elon Musk is to be believed. And let's face it, he's a pretty reputable guy. Elon Musk has announced that he plans to send 1 million people to Mars by 2050, and he's pretty confident about it in what he and his team are calling the SpaceX project. Elon says that this will be done by launching three starships each and every day. As part of his mega plan, he says that he will be creating a lot of jobs on Mars, making it much easier to sustain a system on the Red Planet. The SpaceX facility in southern Texas is currently developing a fully reusable spaceship and plans on making 100 starships each year. Musk desires to make the trip to Mars available to anybody, along with permanent residency. This was something he was very black and white about, tweeting that his aim for the plan is to be affordable to everybody, so it needs to be such that anyone can go if they want, with loans available for those who don't have money. As if that wasn't amazing enough, the designs will be the most powerful launch systems ever created. After all, the thrust needed to send more than 100 tons is huge, and on top of that, he estimates that each one will carry 100 people. They plan to build an entire settlement, along with the necessary life support systems they are going to need to transport water, food, medical supplies, backup technology, and lots of building materials. To help lower the weight and use less fuel, Musk and the SpaceX team are planning to use everything available to them. In just under a month, in Earth time, there is a time when the orbits of Earth and Mars align. Because of this, the rockets will get a jump start, similar to the way aeroplanes on currents get. He says that this will be taking advantage of that opportunity by loading the Mars fleet into Earth orbit at the most efficient time. This all seems like a far off future, but it could actually all occur within a year, the finalization of the Starship anyway. Initially, Musk wanted to send up the first rocket in January or February of 2020, but there were a few problems that had to be resolved following tests. The development of the prototype had an accidental explosion as it was going through a fuel tank pressurization test, which blew the top off SpaceX's first 16-story Starship prototype. The team remained confident, however, and continued to build 20 more prototypes after this. For now, the design is settled on, but that doesn't mean it won't have more advances in the future. SpaceX are forerunners and constantly developing. The Starship launch system would include a 22-story rocket booster, which, understandably, is called Super Heavy. Overall, the Starship will be about 387 feet, which is 118 meters tall. Usually, during launch, a spaceship would ride on top of the booster used to thrust it up, then disconnect after the booster runs low on fuel, and the same goes for the Starship. Following that, it will rocket its way into orbit, where it will access that intersecting orbit between Earth and Mars we discussed earlier. Usually, this would cause debris, but that isn't the way Elon Musk does things, and SpaceX certainly won't be starting without the values which they plan to build the new colony of 100,000 people on. This is why both parts are designed to be fully reusable. They will be neither wasted nor add to space junk in the orbit around Earth. Additionally, that reusability further lowers costs since they won't be building things from scratch, boosting his ideas on affordability. Based on these designs, Musk has estimated the cost of a single Starship launch would be $2 million. That sounds like quite a lot, but in actual fact it is a lot cheaper than the current prices. Gwyn Shotwell, who is the President and Chief Operating Officer of the SpaceX project, attended one of many televised NASA teleconferences on behalf of the company. It was there that she noted that the team were aiming to be able to drop Starship on the lunar surface by 2022. This first run will take Japanese tech entrepreneur and billionaire Yusaku Mesawa around the moon in 2023 to test the technology in what will surely be a fascinating journey. But how do you get funding for something like that when the passengers are intended to be everyday people like you and me? Musk has already answered that in a tweet. He says that helping to pay for this is why I'm accumulating assets on Earth. So essentially, a lot of this is out of his own pocket. The idea of all of this is something which has been inspiring and confusing minds across the world, but we want to know your thoughts. Would you be willing to take the plunge and go to Mars? Answer in the comments after you've heard this frightening fact. Musk has said that going to Mars is a one-way trip. 
This isn't because of the financial implications, it's because of gravity. The gravity on Mars is not as strong as ours. So, although we could get used to it and exist there perfectly comfortably, it does mean that we could not return home. If we came back, our bodies just couldn't handle it. It would be like the pressure at the bottom of the ocean. So, would you go? Would you take on this strange new world? Thanks for watching. As always, we want to hear from you and what you thought of everything. We love hearing about the latest in space science, but also the past, and we have a whole host of videos just for you. If you love space as much as we do, then head on over to our channel, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell. Once it's turned on, you'll never miss an upload. Go on, like and subscribe. Gravity is pulling you to click. Until next time, have an amazing Earth Day for as long as you're on this planet.